Christian Eriksen. So we've seen him time and again since he moved from Spurs. Mm-hmm. He comes on the last 20, 25 minutes, usually does something good. Didn't really do it mm-hmm. last night. And I kind of assumed that Inter didn't have a player like Eriksen. The closest mm-hmm. you have maybe is, is CNC. Um And so it would be natural that you're signing him to integrate him more regularly mm-hmm. into your lineup. Conte seems to use him as a super sub. And when and he was asked about this after the game, and by the way, the guy asking the question is the legendary Beppe Bergomi, mm-hmm. world champion mm-hmm. uh, as, in 1982. And he said, look, as, as the team continues to grow, are you going to integrate Ericsson in the starting lineup? And Conte, he got all bristly. He's like, well, look, you know, um, the most important thing is balance. We need to keep our balance, which is sort of the hint, mm-hmm. like Ericsson doesn't work, so... You know, he's just going to be a super sub. And he also said, look, we got this far without Ericsson, and one guy's not going to make a difference. To me, those comments make little sense. Hmm. So when Ericsson was uh, looking to be bought by Inter, surely Conte must have said to the people who were buying him, you know, this is the sort of player I want, and how am I going to integrate him? And surely when Ericsson uh, was deciding which club to go to, he must have sought assurance that he was going to play in a certain position, he was going to have some sort of game time, he was going to be a a, a first choice when he first went there. That doesn't seem to be the case. I always felt when they were talking about buying him, I couldn't see where he was going to fit into the side unless Conte changed his system. He tried to change the system when he brought him on to play him in behind Martinez and Lukaku, and he dropped the other two midfield players yeah, slightly deeper. But sorry, I don't think he can play can... in the position that Vecino was playing yesterday. No, why not? Well, or Barella. You sure? Yeah. I mean, Sensi can, right? Yeah, but Sensi's got, he's a, I would say, he's a, a more athletic player than yeah, Christian Eriksen. But here's the thing with Christian Eriksen's athleticism, right? And I'm mm. one of those people, you look at him, mm. the guy does not look like mm. an athlete at mm. all, right? Yeah. Uh, like, not in the slightest. Mm. And that's always been the knock on him. He's slow, he's weak, blah, blah, blah. But... The fact of the matter is, all those people who look at him and say he's slow and he's weak, I want to know, how was it that when Pochettino would at, was at his peak at Spurs and this was a pressing team, it was a dynamic team, it was a mm-hmm. physical team, he wasn't the guy on the pitch just with a free roll just sitting there. He covered a lot of ground and he worked really hard. Yeah. So if Pochettino could get him to do it, I mean, I, I, I just kind of think Ericsson, and I know it sounds crazy, I think Ericsson is penalized by the fact that he looks like a wuss. And so people like Conte look at him like, oh, well, you know, he's... I, I, I agree with you. But Pochettino had a system that suited Ericsson. He was one of three midfield players, but he didn't have to do make... It wasn't in a, in a back three and, and two wing backs. At the moment, the two wide midfield players in, in Vecino and Barella have to do so much defence. They're doing more defensive work than they are actually on the ball to, I, to, to get out to the wide areas because Ashley Young was forced back, Kondreva was forced back. Who has to go out wide? The two Those two central midfield players. I, I think it's absolutely mad that... Mm-hmm. You spend all this money on him. And it's not just the, the, the fee, mm. obviously, it was six months from the end. Um, it's it's the salary that you've mm. committed to him. And now you kind of treat him like an afterthought. Mm. Now, there's a school of thought that says, well, but he didn't play that much and he mm. wasn't so great at, at Spurs this year. But, yeah, that might also have something to do with the fact that he was in a contractual dispute mm. with the club and they changed managers and whatever. In the cl- and Spurs as a whole one. He, de- he can definitely so, play the number 10 role in behind the front two, but it means that he'd have to slightly change the system. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.